Well, they say that turkey bacon is like sex with a condom on. It's never as good, you know? It's just not the same. Oh, 100%. But that right there, quality. Yeah, yeah. it's like a really thin Japanese condom. What up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. I'm Ricky Shucks. And I'm Nikki Blades. Hey, man, y'all really fucking with this shit, man. I appreciate that you guys are tuning in and enjoying it, and you guys are tweeting about it. It's real nice. You know, if you like the show, keep spreading it around, because uh, I'm not doing anything else besides this shit right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Help your boy. <laughs> Help me keep putting food on the table, please. <laughs> we got a special guest today. I've known this man for a long time, just through YouTube tubes and the changing uh tides of the internet and social media welcome to the no chase podcast day storm power yo in the building what up y'all what's up dog ain't nothing man thanks for coming to the show you holding a a, a, a little cup like you want a shot are you taking a shot nah, do you do that you don't drink i don't drink i just had to put my gum in something Wait, oh you, okay you don't drink too oh my drink. You know, you like one of these rappers that don't yeah, drink and drink. smoke yeah. and <laughs> shit. I'm just above all of that. <laughs> I just I'm, had the sparklers at the club. And then they just <laughs> the fingers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, so you, you, do you buy the bottles too or do they just bring the sparklers for you? I buy the bottles for everybody else. Oh, yeah. And just watch them get fucked up. A lot of rappers don't drink and smoke like they say they do. You know, know like Akon doesn't smoke or drink. 50 Cent doesn't smoke or drink. Okay. Um yeah, yeah. Even though he owns a whole ass like liquor company, Diddy. yeah. Diddy doesn't drink a smoke either. Stop. He does a, a little bit, but not like crazy, not like that. Interesting. Do you feel like they just hit a certain age where they know, like, man? Nah, I just feel like they just like they know what what affects the people. So we're like, all right, we're gonna get this for y'all, and we're gonna be good over here and watch y'all. Just like when I'm sober, I just be watching the whole system go. It's like I'm in the Matrix and shit. <laughs> just like, oh, there they go. I yeah. mean, I, I feel that, huh? Keep going. I okay, I mean, so. Uh, here's the thing. Speaking of uh, getting old, we've been doing this shit for a long, a long time. Long time. Um, I've known you since let's see, 2009. 2009. Yeah. Yeah. We met at seven, eight, nine. It was a YouTube gathering in in uh, New York City, New York City Central Park. Central Park. Wow. Yeah. And I remember, I you know, I've been on YouTube for I don't know, like three years or so. And then um, up comes like this dude comes walking up to me in the park. He already had a whole ass music video he was shooting at the park and was like yo come come be in this music video real quick i was like all right man cool <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah so at the time like tim was super not that you're not popping now but like at the time i was like a nobody <laughs> right right and it was like him and a couple of other big youtubers at the time and i was like shit man if i make this song tonight i could go to 789 tomorrow and get these <laughs> famous youtubers in my video Smart. so that i could get i could be popping as well so i made this song that night went down there i was like yo can you be in my hook he was like all right i'm gonna sing this shit almost famous mm -hmm. he gave me he gave Gave, gave a nigga no energy i was like all right cool 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 so no but the song did well and no it did like, do well because i remember yeah. like i remember you came up to me and i was like oh, okay sure man I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll i'll help this this random dude out right, right? just <laughs> be in this video real quick yeah. like i mean it wasn't nothing crazy it was like yeah sure they, yeah I'm sure and then and then like i feel like the next week it was hitting like you know the you know youtube used to have these little weekly charts you know yeah. like most viewed most commented mm -hmm. whatever whatever and uh and then you know what i'm saying you begin you started to build and you build your fan base on youtube and then you just started popping off that's man. out of there that's out of there one thing i always credit you with is uh you're always been really good with uh keeping up with just the change of everything you know what i'm saying like you was popping on youtube and then um vine came up you was popping on vine vine died and you was popping on ig yeah. and uh, you've always been good with uh staying relevant to these kids i stay relevant to the kids whatever the kids that i'm like they go them fuckers leaving okay you want to go to <laughs> facebook i'm gonna follow you i'm gonna be already over there it's like so. facebook tv here yeah. i come no yeah, for real i even put a couple million on tiktok just in case oh, oh man and TikTok. You got you got you already got two million followers on TikTok. Yeah. TikTok. Yeah. Wow. You be posting on there? What just you, in case. Man. Well, what do you do on that one? I don't know. I just <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think, know, but I got a two million I, followers. Got, no, I think you have to like do like a, a, a well, it's not quite two, but it's it's you know, definitely up there, but it's like you gotta do like a uh, 
lip sync type thing you okay, yeah. Yeah. Shit, uh-huh. huh? so it was it was musically i don't know if you remember musically yeah, okay so that's the tiktok yeah. bot musically and yeah. like man for the life of me because apparently tiktok is supposed to like be on par with instagram in a few years because yeah. like whatever I see all those videos yeah so i it's mean it's going it's blowing up i was on the elevator the other day and this girl was talking and she was like well you know besides my tiktoks i don't know what i was like oh shit wow this is a, i've been looking at like what song should I it's a thing yo I was like, it's wild uh, so, and so I, I can't keep up with these kids no man. i can't but we, but we have to. Well, speaking of being old, um, so so we 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 were just we, you and me. Look, we look. Don't don't tell the kids. But we low key old, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so we were just talking. We were on set recently, right? And right. we were just talking about how like just you know getting older and um and you were talking about how sometimes you just don't feel like uh, fucking anymore, you know? Because it's like <laughs> I fucked. I mean, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I f- I'm like a once a weeker, you know. I could do it twice a week, if, right? You know, if if the tide's right. But like, I don't. My, I think it's because my mind, be, you know, you get so much responsibility, right? That you don't just be thinking about your dick no more. It's like I, <laughs> I used to when I didn't have more responsibility. You know, I went the fuck all the time when I was broke, man. Right. I was doing it twice a day. <laughs> like that's right. all I got to do, anyways. That's all I got to do is fucking eat noodles. But now it's like. <laughs> <laughs> these days it's like I don't know you know I'm like I gotta get a house and then I gotta figure out the yard I wanna build a fence you know <laughs> <laughs> no, no Donald Trump shit I'm just saying like uh, it was also a wild show like I'm trying to figure it out you priorities know? are different now priorities are different I mean so how does it feel okay so look right they say a, a dude um his his the height of his like sexual like just energy is like in his like 20s and shit right and then they say women in their 30s Mm -hmm. right 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 okay so like so nikki blades would you be upset you know i'm saying if you were like uh date because then you know i feel like women like older men right but then Mm -hmm. how would you feel about like could you handle just once or twice a week is that okay with you yeah i got shit to do too okay (laughs) (laughs) like the the reality of it is is as you get older like you say when i had nothing else to worry about i had all the time in the world like oh what do i gotta do go to the gym and post a picture like babe what are you doing i'm cooking for Uh, no reason i'm just trying to get (laughs) some some. you know what i mean like hey but no i gotta go to work i got bills to pay we gotta worry about credit scores being high yo that's a thing it's credit karma (laughs) one week later that shit drops on you You're like 30 points down what the fuck did i do now uh, we're trying to balance credit cards and move things over yeah. and worry about interest rates like ew people don't tell you about the credit card shit oh, at all they like, don't my shit like high key got fucked up when i was um younger because College? Kind of because well it, I was dumb because no one I feel like no one really teaches you about they any don't. of that when you're growing up. Mm-hmm. So I had a Macy's card right, and I literally the had the fifth like a fifty dollar payment I didn't pay off. But I was like they kept sending me notifications for it. I was like, ah, right, it's fifty dollars. Who cares, yeah, right? I so I was yeah. just like, whatever. I kept on tossing them aside and. Little did I know that the shit was fucking up my credit. Every month that I was tossing <laughs> yeah. it aside, it was like, you missing a payment, you missing a payment. Like, for a while, my credit was, like, not good. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I was like, yo, this is fucked up, especially when I'm trying to buy a house. Right. And they're like, yo, what's up with these payments you missed? I'm like, bro, I got money, but they don't care. Yeah. They're looking at your credit. That's all they're looking at. And then it's, then it's, like, different brackets and oh, shit. They mm-hmm. got you in. Then you feel like you got to qualify for different brackets. Like, yo, if you're 720 to 740, then your interest rate will be here. And if you're 740, yeah. like, well, fuck a God. And then, you, then you, <laughs> you know, you're trying to clean up. I'm calling up a friend. Hey, you know, you want to put me on that Discover card real quick. You know what the worst part is? The thing that you can change is that credit history. The amount of years you're supposed to have it. Yeah. I was like, wait. But I don't owe nobody money. They're like, but you ain't got enough but years. But you ain't got enough years. I so I got to wait like six more years in order to get above this 720 credit score. Like, no, this is ridiculous. We so grown. Oh, you trying to get above 720? Yeah, I got good credit. Damn. I I'm thought sorry. Sister- I, can, I can cook. I had a 740. I got, I got good credit I got now. good credit. I'm, so. wow, I'm 740 and up. Thank Word. you. I just got my shit. I mean, I, I got the house. So it's like my shit like, was. I got a house. My shit was back on track enough. I ain't got no house. <laughs> I ain't got no house either. I got a car. <laughs> but you buying a house. And speaking of which, let's talk about it. You buying a house. You know what I'm saying? You you got a you got a, 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 a living lover, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've been in a relationship for a minute now. Like, what's good with that, bro? I got a I'm we buy, I'm buying a house. Actually, we don't live together, right? Mm-hmm. Nina lives like she has a roommate. Mm-hmm. So, and then I live in my spot. But the thing is, like, I'm getting this house and this will be our first time kind of like merging together. Yeah. And shit. So I'm just trying to figure it out. So my thing is, I was like, how much space do I need? So at first I was like, yeah, I need seven thousand square feet. <laughs> 
And then I realized, I'm like, I don't need that much fucking space. I'm going to have a lot of dusty rooms. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. So then yeah. I dumped it down. Like, all right, I need 4,000 square. So now, like, I'm at, I'm at a very humble place where I'm like, okay, 3,500 to 4,000 square feet is a good place to live. I might get 4,500 square feet. Have you, know? you have you lived with a partner before? That's what I'm saying. Have. You have. Okay. But you also haven't lived with, with, a, with, a, with a partner in a minute, though, right? In a minute. But I've lived with, uh, I, I've had two living girlfriends before. Okay. So okay. I, I, and I had roommates in college. Although yeah. they was guys. We wasn't fucking. <laughs> but I, I've had living girlfriends before. So it's like I'm trying to, you know, I know how it's like to be. And plus, you might as well say she lives in. She owns my house every day. Right. Mm-hmm. And right. we live in the same building, yeah. same floor. Oh, so, oh my. Y'all are roommates, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Same, <laughs> same building, roommates. same floor. Yeah. Different. Y'all just, live in the same house, pretty much. We just have different door numbers. Yeah. <laughs> How did y'all meet? Uh, she was my assistant. Ah. Stop. Yeah. I'm so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> <She> was, <laughs> I mean, that's hot though, that's right? How, that's how it goes. She, I've had, it's, it, in my career, I've had seven assistants. And oh. how many of them have lived with you? No, none. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the first one, but th- but she was my assistant. We've been together almost three years now. Okay. So um, she was my assistant at the time. And, you know, you just start knowing everything about a person. I was like, Damn. She could throw me under the bus, bus. I was so, like, you so know, I might as well keep I you. I might as well just no, no, no. Don't keep you now. <laughs> no, it's yeah. about that. I mean, what's up? I mean, yeah, so exactly. you, 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 uh, y'all, y'all trying to like, you trying to go to like the whole route of like babies and love and and marriage and a baby carriage and all that shit. Or the thing is, because I had my son when I was eighteen, right? Yeah. I'm good with well, I'm good with not having children for a while, and the fact that she's young, I was like, this perfect because I don't have to worry about kids. But then she like she got baby fever more than me. That's what yeah. I was about to Ew, say. Bro. If you already have a child, you already have a son. I have a son, and she doesn't have any kids. Mm-hmm. She don't have it. She wants to have kids. Though. Of course, I feel like every. I mean, at some point, especially you want to have kids, right? I do. Yeah, I'm also. 30 I just turned 30 so there was a point in time when I was in a relationship and he wanted kids and I was like no like (laughs) no way I wasn't ready at all but I noticed that as I got older I'm like "Mm, if I find the right person in the right time Mm. I'm just not in rush but if I was in a relationship with someone who had kids Mm. I know eventually I'm gonna want our Uh, yeah our thing I'm okay with the hour right well she's okay so she's like she's a little younger right so do yeah. you feel like do you do you feel like damn like okay when when she's gonna want to have kids maybe i'm not trying to have another kid like is that a concern Nah, because i'm down with have i want i want some girls you know what i'm oh, saying okay, I, feel I, you. I got a son he, you know he's a talented this motherfucker but he's lazy i want some <laughs> i need some, some dad i need love. some girl love i know i want to i need to have that dad love you know mm-hmm. that so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a girl or two i feel you my 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 wife you said my 20 times he you must be ma, thinking of ma, because ma, I'm still like Johnny ma, Gill out the show. He's like, ma, 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 ma. Said, Let me find the words to describe her right I'm now. I'm still getting used to saying wife. Is That's it hard why. to say? It's weird because it? the thing about it is, <laughs> it okay, so you say out. my you say my girl and my chick for like seven years or so, yeah, it and then all of a sudden, That's a different like, title. Yeah, so now you say wife, and it's like you kind of got to get in the mindset of saying wife. You I feel know. me? Especially because. For the longest time, I didn't want to say wife because so much comes with saying wife. A like lot. you can't just say like, "Oh, okay, let me introduce you to my chick." Blah blah blah. You say my wife, like, "Oh my god, hello, oh my god, god. hi, so wow. nice to meet How you." How's the wedding? Yeah, oh my how's god. it going? You don't yeah. hug anymore. It's like, "Oh my goodness, hi." <laughs> so, Do you have a dog? Oh my god. And plus, gosh. they want to know the whole ass story. Babies? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I gotta get used to saying wife. But my wife, she says we're gonna have four daughters. Oh god, Sheesh. you yeah. don't want a son. Well, no, I mean, I you know, I would like, a, I mean, I'm, I'm down for whatever, right? Okay. But as soon as she said four daughters, I've kind of felt, I felt it, to, I, I felt the, I felt to go throughout my body, like, oh my gosh, she's right, I'm gonna have four daughters, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And like everyone I'd say that to, they're like, you know what that is? That's the player's curse. Mm. That's your karma. That is, that is a curse for all the the ladies in the past that you um uh, uh defiled, uh, vi- vi- uh, 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 uh uh did dirty things to. There's a lot of defilement, and you know what? Another thing, you have to. <laughs> You have to understand, like when, like girls are like most for the most part. A lot of girls are like close to their dads. Oh, right. I'm a to my dad is my best friend. That's Word. what I'm saying. And my a lot of guys are like dad, close to their mom. I so like if you see. having if you having fucking four daughters, you're gonna have yo. It's gonna be crazy. You know, she's definitely more structured, organized person. I'm more laid back with the shit. So I'm like, yo, I'm definitely gonna be that laid back parent. They're gonna love me. Mm-hmm. They're gonna yeah. hate you. Mm-hmm. You're gonna say no, and they're gonna mm-hmm. come to me and be like, Mo- Dad, Mom said we can't oh do this. Mother daughter relationship. <laughs> are complicated me and my mom got along 
as an adult like mm-hmm. I, I i remember one day just asking her flat out like why didn't we ever get along she said you <laughs> yeah you are the reason why we didn't get along she's like i just let you do your thing and i knew you would come back around but yeah. i wasn't close to my mom at all but my growing dad, up right growing up and until you grew up right as a woman, as a woman right. i had a conversation with my mom and now i'm like a little girl all that's over how again. girls are it's almost we like want to be so grown that's grown why and, but and my dad you got you get along with your dad like oh, shit. yeah my dad is everything like mm. That's it. See, and that's the thing. In my head, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be like, "Yo, I'm gonna love these little girls, and also they're gonna be so pretty. They're gonna be funny. They're gonna be smart. You don't have to worry about it." Oh man! And plus, you know, it's it's and it's. And gonna have the blues. Yeah. Well, well, that's the thing too. Also, because we in a time where I can't even say, I can't even say like, oh. I gotta watch out for these dudes because it's gonna be like, oh, okay, what you gotta? I gotta raise them. I gotta raise my daughters to to be, you know, men are trash. Mm. Nah, men are dad, trash. My dad put me up on game. My dad, I had to tell my dad to change his damn username. He was Hawaiian Ho up until about like two years ago, <laughs> and my dad thinks that's the funniest thing. My mom just laughed. She's like, yeah, your dad was a hoe, whatever. But he told so me. So you're Hawaiian and what? Chinese, Filipino, and Irish. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just Asian. Just. The, through the board just yeah. a sprinkle of it all all of that yeah clean. but my but my dad flat out was like um everybody's gonna want to sleep with you no matter what <laughs> yeah all your guy friends that say that they're your friends now eventually if you gave them a chance they're not gonna say no i mean yeah keep that in mind and also <laughs> why would they yeah <laughs> and, yeah. yeah and he I mean, said let's be real whatever you do yeah is not gonna be just the same as what a man does because that's the world we live in so if you want to sleep around know the repercussions of it but you know, love who you want to love. But me and my dad went through, we went through it growing up. I'm talking about my dad had like checked my clothes when I would leave the house. I had a spare bag at another friend's place because he would take my clothes and be like, you can't wear this. And oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like nowadays. Uh, you probably like now you like, thanks, dad. Mm, no, because <laughs> I walked out in college and that was a problem because I was like, I'm out the house. That's what happens, I was right? Like, I'm out. Like you can't tell me sh- nothing. Once and you, I was like, Dad, you should have like loosened up. When a you're little too bit. strict, yeah. as soon as they get a little they, bit of freedom, I didn't know what to do. I was like, Oh, they think I'm cute. My dad's like, Oh, yeah, he's like, Shit, she loose shit. goose. Mm-hmm. Dad, damn it, damn. I shouldn't have gave you that much confidence. I got, a, I got a question for Day Storm. Someone was asking. Um, just so y'all know, I, I'm, I wasn't trying to be rude. I wasn't reading text. I was trying to find questions for Day Storm, right? If y'all are watching the video, I'm in my phone because I'm getting questions. I mean, you can't be rude when we lost one. He's yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know. What, maybe Rick had the poo. I don't know what happened. Yeah, right? He had we'll to go hit me. that toilet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So someone said. Someone said. Do you, do you feel more pressure? Uh, do you feel like you're judged more as a black man to to have a, a be well endowed? Do you feel like people judge you harder? Uh, no pun intended. Or, but or just is your is your junk judged more because you're a black dude? Well, I, 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 how am I supposed to compare it to the judgment? <laughs> right. <laughs> so you know, they saying like, is there more pressure on you? Like when you mess with a chick, right? Like, is there more pressure as a black dude to be like, you know, well endowed because of the whole stigma and the stereotype? I don't. I mean, for me, I don't think so because I, I feel like I am. So I don't feel like <laughs> I mean, it's not an issue. Shit. It's so it's not like an issue. It's just like, all right, I'm cool. I, you know, like I was a, I was I used to dance on the pole. You know what I'm saying? So you used like, to be a stripper. I was a stripper for real. Yeah. <laughs> what? I never knew what? Yeah. I was, what? I was a stripper and I was an escort. What? Whoa. Yeah, back in New York. Dead ass. I was wow. so, so I was slanging that thing. So My escort is in like like you was like a male jiggle. I was like a male jiggle. But you know what's funny? I was most of my clients were older white women and, yeah. and literally 99% of them didn't want to fuck. They, they just wanted your company. company. They just wanted company mm-hmm. and to see my dick. Interesting. I mean like just oh that I've never seen one before they were literally their husbands are like on vacation they would have you put on some very fucking uh, uh, degrading outfit yeah like I once wore this panda suit with the midsection missing wait wait because she was into furries so wait when you say midsection missing, you seem like just just so just jiggles she, out. So listen, she she I walk into her house right, and she's sitting in this with her wine and her leg crossed and shit. Like oh. your outfit's in the closet. So oh, she had oh, it ready. She had it ready. So I go to the fucking closet. I I open the closet. I, I have a series on Zeus called Bad Escorts about the whole thing. It's it's really my life, and it's wow. broken up into four guys. Anyway, so we I go to the closet and I get the outfit, and it's a it's a panda outfit. <laughs> 
and I'm like, what the fuck? So the face, of course, is open. I put it on, and it's like no midsection. And I'm just flapping, you know? Word. Oh. And then she's like, come out. And I walk out, and then she's just like looking, admiring my dick, you while know? While she so, drinks her wine. While she and drinks her wine. Turn around, Panda. And, and that's it. And, and she wasn't trying to fuck. She wasn't trying to fuck. At the most part, women would come up and just like maybe like jerk you off or whatever, but interesting they never really wanted to like have because i guess they didn't they, they i think they felt like if you fucked and it's like crossing the boundaries with their husband because um, okay. they were most of them were married so they just wanted to just have in a way my husband's out of town i just want to have fun with your black whatever i'm like all right so it was just board housewives that wanted to play with a black dick for a few to, for a yeah. couple hours they would blindfold wow. you they would do some wild shit man interesting okay so how much <laughs> how does that work how much does one charge do you charge after she I, did what she did or it's like a it's like a fee up uh, front no i had a pimp so mm. um oh. it was a female pimp um this girl it started because we started out me and my me and my brother or my boy that i call my brother we yeah. started out they the, started out the guy didn't show up for <laughs> the hotel yeah to, to, to dance do like a private show situation. to do a private show okay. so my yeah. girl jay she calls me up and she's like yo they stormed the 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 stripper didn't show up can you and sean pull up and then y'all can y'all dance for us so we hid in the bathroom next thing you know we know what the fuck we were doing we crawling out of the bathroom <laughs> wow. and stuff on our hands and knees and next thing you know it's nine girls in the room about eight or nine girls in the room sean in the corner my boy he's in the corner he's just like got four or five girls feeling on it and i was horny as fuck back then so right. i'm on the bed and literally one girl she just yanks my pants down they're like oh my god like all the girls go crazy i'm like oh this shit, shit, shit is kind of cool yeah so like they paid us they gave us like i think like 200 bucks or something back then but when you're in college yeah that was payment that's so wild we started just dancing on campuses we were at like howard and 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 hampton and we would go to coppin state and Bowie state and morgan state and we would just go up there and just oh, so all the black colleges right we would go to like a lot of hbcus and we would just dance at the college did you guys have like a group name we had a, yeah it was called five guys productions hilarious and, <laughs> and then you guys went into hamburgers and then yeah so no yes yeah, so she was she was our so she was our pimp so basically she wasn't pimping us like she couldn't beat us she was like this little scrawny light <laughs> girl yeah but anyway she would set up all the dates okay so she would set it She's up like a manager and, yeah, right? yeah she was like a manager like a manager so we did a house party this old lady meets her and then from there she just started to get more and more clients and next thing you know i'm like transitioning into the escort business <laughs> man Full what the blow. fuck I, I never knew this about you i've yeah. known you for over 10 years <laughs> come on man i mean i got a, I, I wore a lot of hats <laughs> And, and and I mean, hats. shit, I hope you did. Some Including hats, gym hats. hats. <laughs> Just a whole lot of shit, apparently. That is crazy. Wait, hold on. What's the, okay, besides the panda suit, what's another, I'm, I'm interested now. Go ahead. I'm intrigued. What's another type of costume that you got? Bananas, tuxedos, uh, uh, um, what do you call them? Um, what's the, the purple? Um, plantain, um, no, what is the, it called? The eggplant? Egg okay. Wait, like, uh, oh, before like the a, emoji. Like a bodysuit yeah. or yeah, like a sling? Yeah, bodysuit. <laughs> what? Banana bodysuits, a lot of tuxedos, a lot of tuxedos. Sometimes your get... regular outfit, the thug, they want you to be a thug. Oh, oh so they want that whole they, fantasy. They want the experience. It, it was all about what they felt, the fantasy teacher. Yeah. It was always just like role play type Calm me a cracker yeah yeah, yeah. definitely a lot of cracker yeah. calling <laughs> you know <laughs> a of, wow a lot of cracker calling that's interesting yeah. that's so um, interesting mm. bro all right so what then what what made you want to get out the escort script of business i only did it for three semesters because oh, i was wow. also delivering pieces for dominoes at the time so oh so you in your pizza outfit yeah extra yeah. anchovies extra, <laughs> extra sausage <laughs> did you order your pizza uh, God. so yeah it was it was interesting it was an interesting thing i was doing whatever it takes to get through you know through college and i dropped out anyway so i feel what was that your major i majored in um first i started architectural engineering and then i wind up in music and fine arts okay so, yeah so man i did not know that your uh, bad escort <laughs> series was based on real life stories yeah so it's on my like my stories and i just broke it into four guys yeah it's crazy because um so i was on i was shooting a movie with tonio mm. and i we were just talking about just shit we were working on and i had something where i was pitching where I started like escorting in mm. college because I got kicked out of my frat or whatever it was, right? And he was like, "That's crazy because we're doing this thing <laughs> called bad escorts." I was like, "God damn it!" Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> somebody, somebody else's life. Somebody damn, else's life. Life. So you're about to do my life. Yeah, but, I mean, shit. I was, you know, through my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was gonna be the same shit. It was gonna be like where we were um a group of dudes. And and women were hitting us up to do that stereotypical fantasy, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And that's just crazy that you actually lived it. Lived it. Yeah, wow. it was fun. 
Wow. Well, it wasn't fun. It was probably one of the worst jobs ever. I'd never strip again because this big girl tried to pull my dick off. So, ah, wow. yeah. Wow. Just. So, did you ever have any uh, situations where somebody. So, okay, okay, so, okay. I've always wondered this about male strippers, right? So, would you do. You were only doing private shows or like you weren't ever stripping at a club? No, I, I went to the club. Okay, oh. so when girls get lab dances, right? So, when, when, when guys go to the strip club, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, girls will let you touch depend, you know, depending on the girl, right? Sometimes it'll be like, no, that's not allowed. Sometimes they'll like take your hands and, yep. and put your hands on their body, right? Yep. So, I always wondered in terms of like a, a male stripper, um, uh, like when girls get the lab dance, like how, how how does that work well no the girls are ruthless they, i bet oh they'll mm. grab you they'll grab your cheeks they try to grab you they, like i said the girl literally i had to get a bouncer to come out she tried to literally just yank it she because it was just it was just this big girl and um yeah. she you know she was she was a massive woman woman <laughs> and i only say this because nothing against big girls i love you all but same at the same time she 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 was like i've been here for five weeks i didn't know who she was okay and she's crying it was her birthday oh she was god high. she was high and then she's like i'm taking it home with me and she's oh, just yanking my god. <laughs> so when the, when the party's over the yeah. long, when the party's over i'm stuck hard like stuck i was i was i, call, I called my brother i'm like yo james you got to come and pick me up i can't go down yeah and like oh. something, something's wrong like oh, i was word. stuck into an erection oh. mode right yeah so because you wear this stuff called stay erect or you put a rubber band on it to keep it hard because you're not thinking about that like i'm not yeah. horny like right you're just trying to like, put it for the late you're trying to perform for the ladies yeah after the first week i didn't even care where i was i was thinking about the simpsons i'm like what comes on the simpsons tonight <laughs> i'm not even thinking about these girls i'm just right. slinging but around. then marge pops up looking all sexy and there's nothing like, you can do no so you put on this stuff to keep it up right, right. but because she yanked it or something it just stopped working <laughs> oh so 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 my my brother takes me over to the hospital uh-huh. and i go to the hospital and then they you get, went to the hospital. Yes. So they give me. It, he, we put a towel over. He rushed me to the hospital. I get a shot. Yeah. To, oh. make, to make my in it. Yeah. To make my to make my dick go down. I've heard of this. Yeah. So it goes down and then it's dead. <laughs> it's <laughs> like completely died. dead. So There's it, nothing you could do. So imagine being literally 19 years old. You know what I'm saying? Or 20 years. I don't. Know, I guess it was 19, 20 years old. And you, you your dick don't work. Damn. So that's all we live for at that age. Yeah. So I'm crying every night in bed oh and stuff. God. My brother's crying with me. He's like, are you, are you okay, man? I'm like, no, nah, I can't go out with you no more. Then one day I wake up, you know, I guess it was a week, a few weeks later. And then I'm in the shower and it just came back alive. And Thank I was like, God. oh my God. Because I was suicidal. I was. <laughs> I mean. It don't work. What am I going to do? I, I, what are you going to do in life? I, I can no see why. Me. I can definitely see why that would uh, fuck you up for life. For Such life. a male thing. Like, what am I going to do? Mm. Like, let's. Well, let, I mean. Imagine one day if your uh, if your vagina just like sealed shut and all you could do is pee out of it sealed shut or it just was always just completely just sandpaper dry. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that would be devastating. You'd be pissed. Yeah. I would be pissed. If all you could do is pee, you'd be That's pissed. That's true. That'd like, be useless. One time, right. somebody asked me if you had to choose between like I think it was like I don't know, you can't. Uh, you like going deaf or not being able to, or not being able to feel your genitals you know what I'm saying I was like shit I don't know I, that's a kind that's, of, I, that's tough it's tough you're over here trying to learn sign language just in case it for, comes man <laughs> for real I'd be fucking and using my finger <laughs> yeah it's just like oh this this is how you applause in sign yeah, language yeah, yes yeah, facts <laughs> alright so um, well, damn! I'm glad you were able to get out, get out the life. I oh yeah, I got out that. I've had 32 jobs before, sure. oh. you, you know, in in life. So I've done everything from construction to demolition to telemarketing to I was a security guard. Uh, I, I grew up. I had a purple belt in taekwondo and I worked for a few years. So wow. I did security. Um, You're always so moving, bro. I just always moving. I did a lot of a lot of. I had a lot of jobs coming up. I worked at a, in, in the music business. I was an A&R. I worked in the music department. Was it because you got bored, or no? What? It just wasn't what I wanted to do. So you just kind of filling shit out. And plus, it's not money in certain things. Certain times you got to move. We moved a lot. So. All right. Well, to that point, uh, Kamari Bay asks, "What is your biggest accomplishment up to this point?" Um, I guess it depends on um, how people see it. A lot of people would say the Emmy nomination last year would be a, the biggest, my biggest accomplishment. That was for Cot, full Cot, the Cot series. Mm-hmm. Um, that was that was a big accomplishment. I, um, I, I, I don't know. Um, uh, maybe the Olympic trials was a big accomplishment. That was really big. You said the Olympic trials? Yeah. We, we, what, what 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 sport? A long jump, triple jump. Oh, word! What? That was a big. I, I was a I was an Olympic development athlete. So wow. we went to Rutgers University had the trials down there. So much year. I don't know wow. about you I've that I'm learning stuff. today, really bro. I've done a little a, bit of everything. I've done a lot of stuff. Um, I, I, um, 
maybe launching Zeus would be one of my biggest cause just having a new so platform. you you was a part of launching Zeus yeah I'm, okay I'm on the so, founders so yeah. for those of y'all who don't know Zeus is like basically a, um, a, a, a like a Netflix that was started by creators though right. you know what I'm saying and um, they got a bunch of programs on right now like uh, like the Bad Escort show yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, B. T- Simone just yes. launched her dating my yeah. T.T. Do You Love Me is on there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. a bunch mm-hmm. of good people up there y'all should check it out i mean how difficult was that to launch your own streaming platform i didn't start seeing great hairs until we started <laughs> <laughs> until it was it, it's it's really tough because you got to deal with different personalities in the corporate uh, uh portion which is not always great mm-hmm. and then another thing is you have to you know make sure the content is good make sure the people are good and there's so many steps that you have you learn i've learned so much right because you see instagram or facebook or youtube being like ah oh, this is easy let me try it and then it's like once you're doing it, it's like oh shit and then you're investing so much money mm-hmm. man i couldn't imagine trying to compete with like netflix and hulu and you know because these kids bro they're so used to, especially the kids that like grew up watching on youtube or vine or instagram right they don't want to go they don't want to leave they don't want to leave and they don't want to pay they don't want to pay because they're so used to watching us for free free. you know what i'm saying four different emails for things like that that's what i'm saying so (laughs) it's like now these kids i mean i I mean i feel like i would be so nervous to have to rely on a platform where it's like they really got to pay to watch you know what i'm saying so how do you feel like that uh do you feel like is, is it is it translating for you it's definitely translating better than we thought it would translate okay you know you you know you set your numbers you, you have your graphs and shit and you just don't know till you put stuff out there so you start to learn you're like okay this works this doesn't work he just work and I think a lot of it comes down to promoting and at the end of the day for example like when YouTube was out and remember it didn't have ads at one point in time yeah and then they just next thing you know you just got a commercial you're like fuck and then you know you're just sitting through it all right okay mm-hmm. you can, and now it's like today it's like oh that's YouTube it has that's true yeah. you, like people just get used to it it's like it becomes a thing that you just start, learn to adapt to mm-hmm. and they're learning to like the first day I ain't paying for shit fuck you they store I'm like okay cool yeah. so then literally going into almost a year later we launched last year in July now almost a year later it's like people are just signing up they're like alright we, right. we know what it is it's what it, what it is yeah. I mean that's dope you know like of course cause you know like where they, we got Netflix we got Hulu and people were probably annoyed at first right but oh now it's like you get to the point where you even you're paying for regular ass cable now you yeah. know what I'm saying so it's like I mean yeah I so I, I don't have uh, my cable company more and I just use their app but it's like it's fucked up because you gotta pay extra to yep. get the certain channels and whatnot. Mm-hmm. so the kids are definitely used to what's going on with that right yeah and that was like fourteen ninety nine, and you don't even think about it and then like when Zeus sometimes it will just like shut down on us sometimes they're like oh this that's why this shit doesn't work but then my Netflix shuts down and you don't even right. say nothing that's true well like with with your platform I feel like what Instagram and everybody's coming from has a huge following already and then you start seeing all your favorite people on Instagram start limiting what they're doing because they're right. like nope if you want to see you got to go here go here and you fall in love with these personalities and then these shows are really based around them so you go well I want to see my favorite people so I'm gonna go <laughs> so you have to yep. go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. You, you know what? You are so funny. My bad, y'all. Emergency. You good? Rick yeah, had, to take, good. He had to take an emergency we shit. Without your yeah. stomach, just. Had to take a dump. It's cool. We that, move so fast. Um, I could have in that time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you missed it. Uh, De- apparently, Daystorm used to be a male escort. Panda suits. I knew that. Did yeah. you? What? Yeah. I don't know why I knew that, but I knew that. <laughs> no, I feel like you've said that before. Yeah, somewhere. I've said yeah. it before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, well, let me ask, let me ask you this question that that got us into that. Uh, it was about: Do you feel pressure as a as a black dude to live up to the hype of the big dick stereotype? Um, I didn't until I started hanging around you and all of our other friends. Yeah, yeah. Because y'all <laughs> love to say that to girls. I'm like, bro, what if she tries to see it later? <laughs> She's thinking this. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. facts. We would always be like, oh, you know, because Big Dick Rick, right? You trying to get some Rick and Dick on Dick. All right, well, nice that's knowing hilarious. you. I'm out of here. That's hilarious. Yeah. See, that's why That's why I always say, you know, it, it, I mean, we've touched on this before. It works for me because, like, I, I play up the little dick stereotype. So then when I finally whip it out, it's like, oh, yeah. oh. Are you going to get that? Yeah. 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 I mean, we have this conversation about, you know, all y'all members, and you talk about a lot, the expectation is low for you, and you guys feel like it's a little bit higher. You said, well, you're not worried about it, because you're mm-hmm. just like, oh, you want to see? Here, look, yeah, just, right. let, me, let, me, let me just put that on the table for you. Yeah. But for girls, I mean, yes, if you keep saying it's big, then we're going to be there it, be like this. It should be all right. I mean, I don't know if I want to do anything with it, but can I see it? You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah. But yeah, I can only imagine. Well, let me tell you, man. I used to have, look, so I got a fire dick pic. I still haven't deleted to this day. <laughs> From I, who? I took. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got some old dick pics. I know. So I took this picture years ago, right? Like years and years and years ago. And it's it's a just a great picture. Mm. But the thing about it is when I when I used to send it out back in the day, because it, it's such a great picture, the angles pop and the, the, the lighting is legit. It looks great, right? So girls, when I used to send it out back in the day, yes, I used to send that same picture. Damn. They'd be like, yo. Girls do that all the time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. They'd be like, yo. No. And I'd have to be like, Okay, well, check this out. It's not all that. <laughs> well, see, the lighting, the lighting, then. It's, I just, I know my angles. I Like, okay, yeah, it, it looks like that, but not how it look, like, Man, looks like cat that. Catfishing. Yeah. Cat dicking. Cat fishing. Cat, cat dicking. Cat dicking. Yeah. 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 You got to know your angles. You got to know your yeah. angles. It's important for everybody. Yo, okay. Coming from somebody who has opened up the other side of Snapchat before when you let the messages come in from people that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, some of these guys need to stop. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just stop. Yeah. I've had some dick pics sent to me that was just like, why? Who told you that that looked okay at all? Yeah. I mean, they didn't think it looked okay. No, they they was just like, no, this, there this, are some people that strongly This girl's going to see my dick. That's all they care about. <laughs> Man, it didn't I'll matter like, what it looked like. No. But they see their dick every day, so they probably think they got a nice right. dick. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, or it's normal, at least. Oh, are you um, yeah. are you one of those girls that's against all dick pics? No. Or you, okay. I'm, I'm for them. Okay. Yeah. Feel, okay. If I'm if I'm with you, especially, I'm like, yeah. yeah Not from randoms. That. Right. No random. And <laughs> no if y'all, and I will screenshot and put that up. If I get random dick pics, know that your picture will not be blocked out. I always try to tell dudes, like, especially. Especially the younger cats, like never send an unsolicited Don't dick. Do it. No. Yes. Always get the approval yeah. first. That's that's, yeah. that's violation. That's violation. Nobody likes mm -hmm. to go like this. Oh my god, he's a, what the fuck yeah. is that? What's the well, worst? I, I know some girls who do. Oh, like the, the unsolicited, the surprise ones. Yeah, surprise dick. Like yeah, like they. Oh, what kind uh, of girl? Who, who that is? I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> say this to make sure I'm not giving anything away. I had a, f huh? 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 Oh, 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 it's cool. Oh, we, we, oh no, we, we keep it going. Episode. We keep it going for like another ten minutes. That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I had a friend who would tell me to tell people like on Snapchat, like, oh yeah, send their dick pics in a joke way, with hopes that they would actually do it, really? and she would pretend like, oh my god, you're crazy, okay. but she was she wanted like just she wanted to see the dick, see so, as many dicks as possible. So I know a lot of girls don't want just some do, some do just want dick on the phone. Mm -hmm. But how do you guys feel about Vagina pictures. No, I don't want to see it. Um, I, I don't, okay. Um, I, I don't mind. Well, don't mind. Well, I didn't mind. Didn't I mind. mind now. Don't send me your yeah, vagina. Yeah. Right. When I was disclaimer <laughs> for today's video, please don't. Uh, please don't send me your vagina. Please, <laughs> when I was single, I, I say send me all the unsolicited anything. I wasn't tripping. Oh, I mean, if you know, girls like I, I, I didn't want dick pics, but yeah, send me send me the unsolicited vagina pics. But remember that disgusting oh one. Oh my god! Yo, <laughs> we just <laughs> sent it back and forth to each other. That was this, just randomly. That was it was a really girl, bad. It was a really uh, bad. One. Way back. This was like oh, I want to say like MySpace. <laughs> days this oh shit God. this girl what? sent me this before laser away horrible <laughs> picture man it was I, I can't even describe it oh. to you oh. like it was just not Bad. appealing all right <laughs> nothing about this vagina picture uh and uh, oh and also by the way quick fun fact the uh vulva is actually the technical term for everything you see on the outside the yes. vagina is actually what on the inside right but right. so <laughs> but but this vulva vagina picture <laughs> There was nothing nice about this. Just, like this ain't a lot of meat. It no. was. It was. <laughs> it's hard to describe, man. It, it just wasn't good. So me and Rick, we hung on to it for years, and we would just randomly <laughs> send it back and forth to each other. Just like, like to yo, ruin your day. check this out, dog. <laughs> oh my god, that's Aww. terrible. Man. I just, I can't even. I don't. I, I can't. Would be, that would be horrible to hear that, though. Like, say you're trying to be sexy, and you send your dude a pic, and he's just like, "That's cool." I mean, well, it was, it was a random. But first there's, of there's, all, there's a random girls lady. not know when they, their vagina's ugly. Listen, I don't have that problem, so I don't know. Um, but I feel like a lot of women in the themselves that's that's a very vulnerable sensitive area to even share with your partner let alone like <laughs> let me stick a camera in between my legs and right. think he likes and, it and, like and, it just and, seems weird and that's the thing I, and i tried to be like open to that right I, I i was never like 
oh, she got like this hanging, so that's gross, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. I was never like discriminatory about like if it looked they like come this in or it looked like shapes, they come in different shapes, colors. just like yeah. dicks, just like yeah. snowflakes, really right? Different. Everybody's different, yeah. but this one right here. Yeah. Just was- okay, I think it, like, it's really hard to describe, but the, the part that made it so unappealing. unappealing, you couldn't really see it. It was a lot going on around it. Are we talking, are we talking about hair? <laughs> no. no. Oh, like, oh. you know flesh. what? Okay, look, you know what it reminded me of? And this <laughs> a is lot no, of flesh. And look, yeah. and this is no shade to, to big girls either because, you know, like, I, 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 big girls are beautiful too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, but this one, I don't, it look, okay, it reminded me of, of the, her, her, her vagina in particular mm. reminded me of Jabba the Hutt. Mm. All right. Yeah. If you could see Jabba oh, the Hood oh. in a vagina, oh, I think I know exactly. Chilling, and it was about. in it was in a half bath. She yeah, was, it was so, so it, it was, was like, like, it was wet and shiny. Ooh. And you know just, how stuff look when it's yeah, like underwater no, just, and that weird distortion. So yeah, that wasn't helping. Ladies and gentlemen, don't send private naked pictures to anybody unless you trust them. Because if you or unless they want to see it, yeah, don't just gotta, be like. It got to be somebody surprised. who likes to see that stuff. And, and gra- you know? to, yeah, to your point, if let's say I was in love with this woman, you would I would have loved you whatever she it. sent me. Yeah. Right, I would have dealt with yeah, it. It's gotta mm-hmm. be. A, it's gotta be a thing. Like you know, I used to make date a girl, and I used to like to see her twerk for me. You know and and it's just a thing that I enjoy. Like mm. you dance for me. Go who don't go like that? You no, know, some people just just want to go straight to the fucking. Would you, know? you okay when you in your in your scripper days? Did you ever have girls just be like, hey, just swing the dick around for me for thirty minutes and then I'll pay you for it? Yeah. Women's, I mean. Have you ever hit someone in the face with it? Listen, I'm just all the I, time. I, just. Well, I, yeah. I've been to Thunder Down Under, I okay? A lot. So, yeah, you miss a lot. <laughs> yeah. I've been. So, I see how the other women are. That shit's scared. That's terrifying when I see the how the ladies are with the strippers. Like, they are. But the thing is, like, they, they want that. You that's know what I'm crazy. saying? It's like, they're, it's, it's crazy because women are like, in my opinion, I feel like women are more horny than guys are. It's just, just from what I've. They're just not allowed to talk about they it. They just don't. Yeah, yeah because, True. you know, because of society, they don't. Right. They yes. don't. But Stupid I think women's society. minds, I feel like women's minds are just crazier than guys. So I mean, when we're you, thinking about it just as much as you guys exactly. are it's just we gotta like you we talked about getting older you know how you got mm-hmm. things to do now that you're older you think about it we gotta think about that every day every day every day it's just Jamie, that when yeah. they're in that environment because guys only get to come once and girls can continue to go it's like oh shit these girls are never gonna stop right yeah. right the, the girls are fucking animals bro jamie fox almost caught a case for slapping a girl with his dick remember really? that i remember oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah they was trying to they was trying to get him like this girl was like oh i'm like emotionally damaged because jamie oh, fox hit me with it's his like, dick how's head get down there? exactly like, bro. <laughs> exactly yeah he jumped no. he lost it it's like <laughs> You lose that case. That's not even a case. Like, come on, baby. And he was playing Ray at the time, so he didn't know where his dick was at. He just had it out. <laughs> well, what else? What else? What else can we expect from Daystorm in the near future, man? Uh, shit, man. Uh, so I'm working on a play. I'm going to put it in the, at the Wallace here in LA. What's that? Uh, it's like the theater. You know how New York. Oh, is. you're working on a play. Yeah. I'm okay. Play. So I'm, I'm gonna do the play because I did caught series and they wanted me to put it in the form of a play, but I couldn't afford my cast. Mm. Uh, so, so now I'm gonna do a more yeah, King Batch, yeah, so, chill out. So now expensive. I'm gonna get you expensive fuckers. So now I'm gonna get a play that I can. I'm gonna do a play and and put it on and try to because I want to get an EGOT. I want to get the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Same. So I so I gotta do a play. For sure. To do that, mm-hmm. you know, I, I feel like this the You Decide series. If you haven't seen this on YouTube, I just posted a few months back, and it's uh, interactive series that's going to get an Emmy nomination. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I think I'll get the Emmy nom. This well, see, let me know if you need somebody. <laughs> like I'm yeah. singing yeah. your play. I just stand in the background, yeah. like, can I have a part somewhere? <laughs> I can't sing, yeah. but I can stand somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously, I mean, if, if if that's what you want, if you want to get on stage, whew, then we gonna we we gonna work this play Jeez, out. Yeah, let me know, dog. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> nah, if that's your audition. You out? Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Just let me know because I can sing a little bit. <laughs> Change my motherfucking mind. He's like, yo, revoke your invite. Daystorm used to be a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, uh, thank you, uh, <laughs> thank you, to Day Store for coming through. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning yeah. in. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe yeah. and spread it around and all that shit. And follow everybody. Nikki Blaze, Ricky Shucks, too. Did I get on Day Storm? Hi, right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Different outro today. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. <laughs>